Finally, a video game adaptation that stays true to the video game, which means it has absolutely no plot. We saw Street Fighter, so you know what that means. A nigga grow a baby in his belly, rock a rhinestone vest while whipping just in the Kelly. Or maybe see a burlesque show with Nick Crow and take a bubble speed to hit and cruise control. J Man, Big Paul, and the beautiful June. Gonna take you from the goob all the way to the room. Ran the games of Street Fighter, help to blow off steam. Just a sucker punch the odd life of Timothy Green. Shock Nato to Bird Demic, how we stand alive. They call it in the badass, and he's on the line. Cranking 88 minutes, cause they cool, cool as ice. ice. Cause a bad Jim Varney looks Looking kind of nice. Paul and June getting literal. Jason is getting laid. June is making sure all the monkey shots getting paid. They judge a bunch of movies while they're making the grade. Here's a real question for you. How did this get made? <laughs> That's a good look, Haru. What's that smell? <laughs> Hello, people of Earth, and welcome to another episode of How Did This Get Made's Matinee Monday, where we break down an old episode of How Did This Get Made. This week, we are talking about an episode that we did in 2013. It is called Street Fighter. The guest is John Gemberling. You know him from Broad City, and he's been on Night Court. He is a fantastic actor and comedian and also a video game expert. So we thought it was important that we brought him in here. Now, this is a movie that really is whoa. I mean, truly one of those eye-opening films, a film that Jean-Claude Van Damme said he doesn't remember because he was doing so much cocaine. Now, before we get into the actual plot, I wanted to let you all know that How Did This Get Made is on tour. That's right. We are touring in the UK. We're touring in London. You can come see us in San Diego or San Francisco. Just buy a ticket. Go to hdtgm.com. And if you're on the internet buying tickets, you can also pick up my brand new book, Joyful Recollections of Trauma. It is a collection of stories from my youth. Uh, and I think if you're a How Did This Get Made fan, you will like what is in there. And pre-ordering is important. So head on over to my website to buy that book or just How Did This Get Made too, because it's there as well. I try to take care of you. Now back to this movie, Street Fighter. Steven D'Souza wrote this film. Now he also wrote Die Hard die hard and he wrote this movie and i can't make heads or tails about it this is a movie that they wanted to make uh, a combination between star wars and james bond and a war film and you know what if you put all that stuff together it doesn't taste good it's like that's like not saying like you put chocolate in my peanut butter that's like putting like your tuna fish in my chocolate Ugh. all right anyway um this movie also brings up a very important question what is a street fighter but besides that, I think the thing that we really wrestled with was the dialogue. So we may never know what a Street Fighter is, but we also may never understand any of the dialogue in this film. Take a listen to this clip here. Kind of a, a melange. Is that the right word? A montage? A collage. That was the word I was looking for. It's a collage of some of the most crazy moments in the film. Can I bring up the boat ride oh yes van please. damme's boat ride the stealth, yeah, to the boat? attack yeah. by the way the boat ride had to be written in last minute because the people of thailand did not want an air attack he was supposed to really? fly in yes as an air force pilot but uh they needed to transform it to a boat because like thailand's like no 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 you can't do like stuff in the air well that's funny so but that's his... why he wasn't in the air force in this right Ooh. so his stated plan is I'm going to go up the east bank yes. and cause a distraction while the whole force comes in. Is the, okay, see, I didn't That's what he ahead. said yes. in the in the briefing. <laughs> <laughs> and then first <laughs> <laughs> his tape, he puts a tape oh, in. Uh, what a TV in the, the boat. fuck was this? <laughs> he puts a home movie tape in. He puts yeah. like a beta tape. <laughs> yeah. He literally loads a beta tape into a video screen yeah. in his boat in his that boat. I believe he is driving. Yo, yeah. he's definitely driving that boat. And he watches home movies. In the boat. Of, him, of and him and Charlie. Charlie. Well, it's sort of like By the way, like he was to... shooting it because it was like a, a scene where they're at a bar. Like, it was not like a home video. I thought that they were like at an outside cafe. <laughs> but who's taping, <laughs> who's making home videos and that has like where people are eating at? And, <laughs> and also, I thought this is the video where we see who his loved one was that, that Bison hurt. Exactly. Yes. Because he says to Chun-Li, this isn't about your vengeance. And then in an aside, it's about mine. But we never learned what his vengeance is. I believe is. it's Charlie. I think it is. The Charlie. video is it's because, just Charlie. I think it's a love story between on, him and Charlie. Yeah, I agree because 
that is, I think you could look at that early scene between him and Bison when he's on the news, when he calls out Charlie and say that, okay, he knew Bison had Charlie early on, and that was that was his motivation the entire time. But him and but but they give the sense that he and Bison have been locked in like a, a, a Hatfield and McCoy warrior. kind of feud. Yeah. 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 Oh, right. I mean, they're, they're I mean, always that's talking what about I, meeting each other on the oh, the battlefield. Yeah. yeah. Eh. No, the, I feel Who like knows? I feel like there's a lot of like things Who that fucking we're... knows. <laughs> I also like at one point the bad it. guys are all talking. The, and something happens, and then the the guy gets up and just goes, "This conclave is over." <laughs> well, you could argue. And I was like, too, "That's though. an amazing." Well, line. there's amazing line. There's a few amazing lines. This is one I wrote down. I'm the Repo Man, and oh. you're out of business. Great. Yep, oh, right. that's not what the Repo Man does. Yeah, that is not that is the Repo, Repo Man, Man does just not close takes business. his <laughs> property back from you. Uh. By the way, when he, I'm sorry to go back to the tape. Oh. Again, but when he puts in that tape, you could actually argue that it shows his relationship with Charlie is not strong at all because he's going to save Charlie and a ton of other people. He should just be able to go save him and, you know, do that out of his love and what's in his heart for this man. He shouldn't have to watch a videotape to sort of I think <laughs> pump him up yeah. to well, keep yeah, his on reasons going. reasons for watching that tape at that moment are, are very... Or, or I don't know. I don't uh, know. What are the reasons? I think it's uh, just to remind us what the stakes are for him. It's about just saving his us. best bro. I want. I just. I'm sorry to go back to another <laughs> line, but I just feel like it needs to be said. Another character at one point goes, "I like my games live and in living color." Yeah, Sagat. Says yeah. So again, not really like. <laughs> it's another weird line. Not not a, not a clever line. Not I mean the cleverest line in the movie, in my opinion, was when Chun Li spits and they say, "Hey, you're gonna dehydrate yourself." <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a good line. There's and also like, a great line when the big um, the big Ophi guy says when they're watching. He's they're watching on TV. Yeah. The whole news team is about to attack them, and that during oh, the yeah. celebration, he's like, "Change the channel." <laughs> oh yeah, he, good, he, just, a... he delivers those lines so. Well, basically, line. Chun Li's plan was to record a live newscast of her setting a bomb that would be running into their village. Now, oh, yeah. meanwhile, if she did not alert them to this newscast, it would have succeeded. And they, yeah. yes, but instead, she decided to out herself moments before Wait, the truck. How about the was... craziness of that scene? Is that? Uh, Bison has captured everybody. Everybody's been captured. It's like a big room and blah, 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 blah. And there's lots of hubbub, hubbub. And then there's a moment of quiet. And you can hear Chun-Li's voice being like, this is Chun-Li yeah. <laughs> reporting from blah, blah, blah. And they literally, everybody in the room stops, goes over, opens a door to a different room <laughs> yes. where there's a television on. Well, there's a lot. I mean, there's a what lot. What the of fuck is that about? All right. That is all we have for Street Fighter. Just a reminder, How to Disc Made is on tour. Go to hdtgm.com. My book is available wherever you purchase books. And it's available for pre-order right now. We'll see you next week on Matinee Monday. Bye for now.